habits you need to change to be a better partner. Building a strong relationship demands significant dedication, willingness to make sacrifices, find compromises, and adapt. It's often through overcoming numerous conflicts that couples reach a state of ease, where love becomes paramount. Additionally, certain behaviors must be adjusted to foster mutual understanding. Here's a glimpse into a few of these adjustments. 1. Always trying to be right. It's crucial to recognize that relationships aren't competitions where winning is paramount. What works for you might not work for your partner, and vice versa. Instead of fixating on being right or wrong, the key lies in finding common ground. Prioritizing being right in arguments might secure a victory, but it risks losing the connection with the person. 2. Never admitting your mistakes. Making mistakes is inherent to being human. Yet, apologizing for them can be challenging due to the discomfort of acknowledging our faults. It's important to realize that offering apologies showcases maturity rather than weakness. 3. Holding on to your ego. At times, we place more importance on our ego than on actively listening and empathizing with the perspective of others. While it's crucial to uphold our values and beliefs, prioritizing ego during significant discussions is counterproductive. 4. Complaining about your partner too much. It's common to want to address concerns with your partner, but consider the tone of your conversation beforehand. If you only highlight your partner's faults when discussing them with friends, that's how your friends will perceive them. 5. Being unwilling to change. Sharing our lives with someone else inherently involves growth and adaptation. Being in a relationship often necessitates adjustments to your lifestyle. Activities that once seemed ordinary before dating may no longer be the same. 6. Never apologizing first. Disagreements and conflicts are common occurrences in any relationship. It's important to allow each other time and space to cool off before discussing the issue. Additionally, taking the initiative to apologize, regardless of who was at fault, demonstrates maturity. 7. Always taking relationship advice from single friends. Your friends who are still single have their reasons. Perhaps they haven't met the right person, made choices that didn't align, or simply aren't ready to commit. They may tend to side with you and critique your partner when conflicts arise between you both. Reasons of spousal abuse in a marriage. When individuals enter marriage, they typically envision a future filled with happiness, love, and joy alongside their partners. Rarely do they anticipate their marriage turning into an unsuccessful or abusive situation. To prevent this outcome, couples invest significant effort into nurturing a fulfilling relationship. Yet, despite their best efforts, many marriages end in failure. The situation worsens when abuse is involved. For those seeking understanding, here are the underlying reasons for spousal abuse within a marriage. 1. Trigger thoughts. Within a violent relationship, conflicts frequently trigger a damaging chain of thoughts within the abuser, profoundly impacting the other person involved. In the midst of a routine marital disagreement, abusers may interpret perceived disrespect from their partner, which they perceive as intolerable. They feel compelled to take action to assert their dominance and avoid appearing weak. Once this mental shift occurs, the likelihood of violence escalates, with no easy route to reversal. 2. Inability to tolerate being hurt. Experiencing hurt from someone we love and have dedicated our lives to is challenging for anyone. Yet, cohabiting with another person, sharing daily stresses, and facing unforeseen difficulties inevitably entails occasional hurt and disappointment. However, in the case of abusers, their intolerance for perceived wrongdoing leads to abusive behavior. When hurt, these individuals respond by causing pain to others. 3. Growing up in an abusive family. Numerous abusers carry childhood traumas in their past, while many spousal abuse victims also originate from families marked by toxic dynamics, including psychological or physical abuse. Consequently, both spouses may inadvertently view marital abuse as customary, possibly even interpreting it as a form of intimacy or affection. 4. Lack of boundaries. Individuals in abusive marriages often perceive an unbreakable bond between them, yet this connection lacks genuine romance. Instead, it signifies a breakdown of essential relationship boundaries. Consequently, it becomes simpler for both the abuser to exert harm and for the abused spouse to endure mistreatment, as neither feels emotionally detached from the other. 5. Lack of empathy. A common factor facilitating an abuser's ability to inflict violence upon their life partner is a deficiency in empathy. 
Even more startlingly, abusers often possess a keen awareness of others' vulnerabilities and shortcomings. Yet, what eludes them is the emotional dimension of empathy, which involves genuine concern for and resonance with the feelings of others. 6. Substance Abuse Substance abuse frequently emerges as a significant contributor to abuse within relationships. The American Journal of Public Health highlights the interconnectedness of these issues, revealing that perpetrators of abuse sometimes coerce their victims into substance use as well. Subtle body language signs that indicate psychological distress. Psychological distress characterizes the emotional anguish experienced when faced with challenging demands in life. It necessitates additional care and attention due to its propensity to induce frustration and suffering. These feelings of overwhelm manifest as unpleasant sensations. To assist someone in managing psychological distress effectively, it's crucial to recognize its signs. Here are subtle body language cues that may indicate psychological distress. 1. Freeze response. More often than not, individuals have a tendency to become immobilized in specific triggering circumstances. They may freeze amid situations that feel inappropriate or menacing. Similarly, upon receiving distressing news or learning of a crime, individuals may react with the same freezing response. This is one of the indicators signaling deep psychological distress. 2. Repetitive behaviors. Engaging in repetitive behaviors serves as a coping mechanism for managing stress. Whether it's foot bouncing or swaying back and forth, these actions assist individuals in navigating various stressful situations. When confronted with something distressing or receiving unfortunate news, both adults and children alike may exhibit signs of rocking or swaying. This behavior reflects the sensitivity of the situation and aids in stress management. 3. Fetal Position Research indicates that receiving overwhelming news activates the same brain region as experiencing a physical blow. Consequently, Hearing distressing news often triggers a visceral response, inducing feelings of fear in the pit of our stomachs. Many individuals report feeling vulnerable and emotionally fragile after exposure to negative news. 4. Interlaced Fingers This behavior is commonly observed and an individual is upset or distressed. It occurs subconsciously as individuals interlace their stiffened fingers. The stiffness of the fingers suggests heightened tactile awareness and conscious acknowledgement. This interlocking finger gesture is frequently observed in individuals when they are confronted with sensitive information or navigating through traumatic experiences. 5. Sucked in lips. This behavior is frequently observed in individuals when they encounter disappointment or when they are confronted with addressing a large audience for a public apology. The act of sucking in one's lips is indicative of significant distress, conveying a sense of helplessness and psychological strain. Over time, we become accustomed to this behavior and learn to interpret its underlying message. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.